So today we're going to look at accessing Mosaic for read-only purposes. Um, you can access Mosaic uh, from most desktops, uh, particularly Kiosk, um, through the ISCAN Cloud shortcut. Double click on that, it'll open the Internet Explorer uh, Citrix page uh, and then you would select um, a Mosaic icon. It doesn't matter which icon you choose from this window, it will take you to Mosaic. If you don't have the shortcut, then you can come to the Internet Explorer homepage for the district and scroll down to Information Systems. Once here, you have Oncology Information System Mosaic ISLID. Select that and it will take you to a page similar to this. Then once you're here, you can click on uh, one of the mosaics and it will take you to uh, the Mosaic login page. Once you're at the login page, go to staff login, select and type in read only. The password is pass. Select login and this will take you to the Mosaic login page. Um, once in here, to select a patient you go to the select patient window. When you click the select patient window, it will open this window here. All you then need to do is uh, select in here and start typing and it will give you um, the surnames that you, you're wishing to, um, to see. So I won't do that because we're public so I don't want to see any patients other than test patients. So we have, I've entered ZZZ and these patients have, have come up. I can select by clicking select or double click. I can also in the same way um, search by MRN if required by selecting MRN and then typing the MRN number. So I'm just going to double click on this patient and the patient's chart will now open and you can come, it may open like this, you just come across to the chart screen and from here on you're in the patient chart. So progress notes are exactly that as per the paper notes or in power chart. Um, if there are progress notes, they will be here, be it from uh, oncologists, nurses, dietitians, any other allied health will have progress notes in, in here. DX and PROB means the diagnosis and problems. Patient diagnoses are in here. Um, this is a test patient, so we've obviously got more than just one. Um, come across, depending upon what's been entered, they could have the staging in here. Um, the morphology, if there's metastases, um, are all in the DX and PROB um, tab. Documents is all correspondence regarding this patient that the cancer service has. Um, so this can be anything from a letter from a medical oncologist, radiation oncologist or haematologist, um, referrals to oncologists, correspondence from surgeons, um, pathology reports, imaging reports will all be in here and a good stop um, for patient information um, if you're looking to get a bit more of a, a better picture of the patient um, then documents is where you would like, want to be. If you come across to clinical documents it just limits um, what you see so instead of seeing um, you know forms for seals or transfusion requests if you just go to clinical documents then it'll just give you all of the clinically relevant documents. Medications is just all the medications the patient has charted in Mosaic, um, so related to the care plan. And I'll take you to that care plan in a second, but it'll just list every drug that the patient uh, has within our system. Patient schedule, if the patient has um, appointments scheduled uh, with the cancer service, they will be in here uh, for future dates. Um, so date and time, staff name, location will all be uh, in this screen. Uh, notes is not really used uh, here in the system. It's just a list of all notes within Mosaic. I would suggest you get a prognosis if you're looking for progress notes. Face sheet is just a demographic sheet. Um, it has address, demographic details, picture if there is one. Allergies is up here on the right. So if they have any medical allergies have been entered, they will be here. Alerts are also um, something that you may want to look at. Alerts will tell you if they have, um, you know, a pacemaker or a CMV negative, if they've been to referred to palliative care or if they have an MRO. Um, they will be listed in the alerts screen here. So coming along the top to the shortcuts, CWS is the clinician worksheet. This is where we find 
um, all a chemotherapy. Um, so if I click on CWS, again it's password protected so I just need to enter the past password. Uh, and in here it tells me what chemotherapy regimen the patient is on. So the AVBD and the drugs involved in that care plan. And when uh, they've been uh, prescribed and when they're due. Um, so that's the clinician worksheet. It gives you the drugs and the doses. Laboratory, so we have a feed not only from SEALS lab but also Southern Pathology. So if you're looking for some recent lab values, they may be in here that, uh, that aren't in the power chart. Um, so you can come to here. Uh, any value will be listed in the other labs. You can filter if you really feel that way inclined to say, I just want to see hematology results and that will limit it to hematology. Um, so I'm going to leave it on other labs though. So every entry within uh, the system will be in other labs. Vital signs is exactly that. Any enter entered uh, vital signs will be uh, within this view. Uh, An assessment can be for a number of reasons. You can have a non uh, radiation oncology assessment or a pre-chemotherapy assessment. They have not only the uh, vital signs, the pathology, but also uh, venous access, uh, toxicities. Uh, so if the patient's had any nausea, vomiting, uh, or chemotherapy related toxicities, or if we go to uh, RO, then any radiation oncology um, measured uh, toxicities will be here. So it's a good um, stop if you're looking for a patient that may have turned up with say uh, nausea and vomiting to the emergency department then you can look at what their um, value was say yesterday um, or if you know they're coming with increasing pain what their recent pain scores were. You can also see from here the next specialist appointment so the date of the next appointment and when the next um, bloods may be due and at what location their bloods are being taken at. So that's the sort of four tabs that I would use in uh, this section of Mosaic. Um, DNI will give you an idea of if they've had radiation therapy, um, it will have uh, the diagnosis and then the location of the radiotherapy and the dose of the radiotherapy will be in this DNI window. Um, so if you're looking at um, where the radiation uh, dates and location come to DNI. So that's really it from a read-only perspective. Should give you some um, nice additional information on a patient who is having treatment uh, within the cancer services.